Okay, this is just a follow-up of the Canon XL H1 had a problem. Um, it's now repaired, and just to show you guys, if you haven't seen the videos before, to give you a rough idea what the problems with these these particular cameras, it also affects the XL uh, HL X2, and I think it affects some of the other Canon ones as well. What happens is the picture starts dropping out. It starts and stops, starts and stops, okay. Um, I'm actually filming now on the Canon XL2, which had the same problem. It's actually going to DV tape at the moment. And we'll just show you what it is. What it is, if I just turn the camera around. Okay, because I've got tape inside it, inside here. And let's see if I can bring the light down. But if you can go back on my other videos, that will be a, a little bit more helpful. So you see in detail exactly what I've done. Basically, uh, inside this uh, mechanism here, you have the drum, off, obviously, and um, you have the, the rubber bit that goes round and round and round, the capstan, or what's called capstan, or whatever, I can't remember what it's called. And there's a little plastic clip, and on the Canon XL, H1, XL2, and probably XL1, this little plastic clip breaks, and it gets brittle, and it's so minute, and I'm actually going to show you what it looks like. Can you see? right down here there it is there that is the culprit all right that little tiny little thing there is the culprit all right and all it is like a little plastic little bit it's, it's a hard solid bit of plastic probably about the hole in the side inside is about one mil and it just keeps going up and down on the on the spindle and basically that's where your picture starts dropping in and out sort of thing so what i've done is i've got a bit of rubber well, a bit of solid bit of rubber, shall I say. Um, and it's, I can show you, it's uh, there, okay. And what that bit of, uh, has come from is actually a piece of uh, wire sheafing. Um, as I said, it doesn't want to be too soft. It has to be the right distance between to go right down the spindle. And then you uh, obviously you put the rubber um, capstan on and you push the bit of rubber on top of it. All right. And then that stops the capstan coming off and on sort of thing, you know, uh, on the spine. Anyway, uh, so it's all up and running and it's absolutely working like a treat. Like as I said, this thing was only, it was only 400 quid. That's all it cost me. Um, so let's just show you. Uh, if we just go to play. And you can see, it's actually playing perfectly at the moment. There's no dropouts at all. It's not stopping and starting, which is what it was doing before. So there you have it. So that's the Canon XL H1 repaired. Hope this helps. Bye.